Gamescom is only a few short days away. For those of you who aren't familiar with Gamescom, it's kind of like Europe's version of E3, with the main difference being that it's open to the public. This means that it's usually on a much larger scale compared to E3, as the amount of people who attend is huge in comparison to the number of press members that turn up to E3. This is a really exciting time for the entirety of the gaming industry, as it usually means that new trailers and gameplay demos of our favourite upcoming games are released. DICE have already been teasing what's in store for us members of the Battlefield community, so let's go over what we can expect to see on the 16th of August. Whilst there won't be a full-on press event like we saw at E3, in fact Microsoft and Sony have both pulled out of press conferences this year which is a shame, but instead there will be a live stream of Battlefield 1 starting at 12pm Pacific, which is 8pm UK time for us Brits, and 9pm for you European folks. If you think back to E3, EA held their press conference which showed off their new trailer, and then that stream was followed up with another stream known as Battlefield Squads. This consisted of a series of live Battlefield 1 matches between two teams made up of well-known internet personalities mixed in with actual celebrities like Zac Efron, Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg. This allowed viewers to watch the game play out as it would under real life conditions, the theory being that it's real people versus real people in a real match, not a scripted scene that's made to look as epic as possible for a marketing campaign. This is happening again at Gamescom, the Battlefield squads are reforming to fight it out once again, this time on the Arabian Desert map that we've seen some concept art for, and briefly in some of the trailers. This means that you can expect to see some gameplay of the train behemoth, that's something that's intrigued me, so hopefully we'll be able to find out how it controls and what sort of weaponry it's going to be carrying. On top of this, we know from the trailer that horses are featured on this map, so we should be able to get some sort of an idea as to how mounted combat is going to work in Battlefield 1, as we haven't yet seen any of the mounted combat for ourselves. Something that I'm interested to see on the stream is the different teams. On St. Quentin's Scar, we got to play as both the British and German forces, but since the battles fought in the Arabian deserts were on the Eastern Front, this means that we should be getting a good look at the Ottoman forces and possibly the Arab forces, although I'm no real expert in World War I affairs, so I'm not entirely sure whether it was the British forces or the Arabian forces that were fighting on the front line. I'm pretty sure it was the Arabian forces with British soldiers at their side, but if anybody else knows for sure, then please be sure to correct me in the comments below. The post on the Battlefield 1 website states that there is a trainload of more information coming, pun intended, so that could also mean that we could be seeing new vehicles as well as new weapons being featured in the build of the game played on the live stream. Now this isn't mentioned anywhere on the website, but I'm secretly hoping that at some point during the evening the beta build of Battlefield 1 will be released to the public. As I said, not specifically mentioned, but it would make sense to release the beta at a time where hype for the game is at an all-time high. And what better time to release it than when thousands of fans are watching it played online, all thinking, I want to go, like a younger relative watching their sibling hog the console. This has been done before. When Battlefield Hardline was first announced back at E3 of 2014, the big mic drop moment was when they said that the beta sign-up was available right at that moment live on stream. And if I remember rightly, that first beta was first come, first served. So only the ones watching the stream live managed to get into it. The second beta was the one that was open for everybody. So I wouldn't put it past them to sneakily announce the beta at some point during the evening. We can look at Hardline's beta structure to help us figure out what sort of content we'll be getting in the beta for Battlefield 1. Hardline's second beta had two maps, Downtown and Dust Bowl, with two game modes, Conquest and Hotwire. If we consider its first beta as an alpha and compare Battlefield 1 to Battlefield Hardline, then we can almost see that the alpha beta structure is very similar, with the first alpha containing one map and a couple of modes, and the second containing two maps with another couple of modes. Once the stream starts on August 16th, we'll have seen two maps from Battlefield 1 and two, if not more, game modes, meaning that there would be sufficient content ready to fill a public beta. I want to stress, this has not been mentioned officially whatsoever, but I'm being rather hopeful and optimistic that we'll be able to get our hands on Battlefield 1 soon, because God knows I miss it since the alpha was cruelly and abruptly ended and taken from us. So there you go, you're all clued up about what you should expect to see from Battlefield this year at Gamescom, and hopefully you're feeling as optimistic as I am about the potential release of the beta soon thereafter. Let me know what you're most excited about seeing at this year's Gamescom in the comments below. It doesn't even have to be Battlefield related. 
I'm unfortunately not able to attend Gamescom myself this year. I'm in fact going to be at work whilst the live stream is going on, but I will do my best to report on the information released nonetheless. So make sure you're subscribed to ensure that you're up to date with all of my videos. Enabling notifications over on the channel page might be an idea if you want to always be as early as possible to my new videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't hesitate to leave me a like down below and I'll catch you in the next one.